guys, and this video is all about tips for new guinea pig owners. Whether you are buying a new piggy soon or already have one, this video will be great for you. 1. Never just buy one guinea pig. Guinea pigs are social and need a friend, and even if you spend time with them 24-7, it still won't be the same. If you get females, it's best to get three, and males do better in pairs. Fun fact, in Switzerland, it's actually illegal to buy just one cabby because they're so social. 2. Make sure you have the correct food. Guinea pigs should always have access to hay and fortified food. Guinea pigs can have orchard hay, oat hay, and timothy hay. I give mine orchard and oat because we have allergies, but if you and your family are okay with timothy hay, you can give it to them. Guinea pigs cannot have alfalfa hay because it has fiber and is too rich in calcium and it makes it hard for them to break down. 3. Vitamin C Cavity should have a daily dosage of vitamin C. Just like humans, their body is depleted of it every day. A good source of vitamin C is green pepper, but I give mine 1 milliliter of vitamin C in a syringe. It is good because it helps them get used to taking things from the syringe in case they ever need medicine. And they love it. 4. Cage Base Pet store cages are too small for your guinea pigs. Each guinea pig should have a minimum of 7.5 square feet, but 10.5 square feet is preferred. The best way to reach this size is to build your own cage. We made a CNC cage which stands for cubes and coroplasts. We got ours online at guineapigcages.com. They sell theirs for a reasonable price. 5. Heidi's For every guinea pig you get, you should have one Heidi. Guinea pigs don't share and often fight for dominance over the cage. Make sure the less dominant piggy has somewhere to hide. Also, have lots of tunnels, so if two of them get in a fight, the other can safely retreat out the other end. 6. Bedding I use fleece blankets for my bedding because it's easier and less expensive, and my guineas love them. When you have a big cage, it's a lot easier to just lay fleece blankets down instead of having to fill the whole cage with bedding. But I do use paper bedding for their kitchen where they eat their hay. So if you decide to use bedding, use paper bedding because cedar bedding can give your piggies allergies and irritate their skin. 7. Vegetables Guinea pigs love veggies and should have them every day. But just make sure you're feeding them what they can have. And if you're giving them something they haven't had before, give them a little at a time so the tumpies can get used to them. Also love fruit and berries, but it is very sweet, so don't feed it to them every day. 8. Bathing Guinea pigs shouldn't have baths all the time. The water takes the natural oils they need on their skin off and can lead to colds. Only give them baths twice a year if they need it, or if your veterinarian prescribes one. 9. Water Always have water available for your guinea pigs. Guinea pigs require a minimum of 80 to 100 milliliters a day. Never put vitamin C drops in their water because they could not like the taste of the water and not drink it. 10. Bonding time Always spend time with your piggies. It also helps you to spot if your guinea pig is sick or hurt. They might not like the process of being picked up, but they love to be snuggled. So that was it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. And make sure you subscribe so you get notified whenever I make a new video. I'll see you guys later. Bye!